Hi everyone. Uh, today we will learn WebGL uh, transformation. Okay, so, so transformation is kind of a so geometric uh, and mathematical uh, knowledge is required to understand. I've tried to explain it easily, so please don't worry about uh, your mathematical background. Okay, before the learning the mathematical background about uh, transformation. So I will show you some uh, WebGL code example and I will change the code. After I changed this code then I will upload it in GitHub. Please download it, this uh, code and test it. Now after running uh, share the code then we can get uh, this kind of result. So we can get the vertex color so interpolated triangles okay so first i want to change it into some kind of a moving using this uh, result first the uh, our will set some kind of a variable with uh, its name is okay scaling factor scale factor is uh, so 1.0 so it is global variable and then I will change it into here so I will change the XY scale value with scale factor okay and Y also so it is the the transformation matrix in the the first element and fifth element is changed into scale factor. So I want to change it into every, every time I redrawing. So I will change the value of scale factor with uh, with uh, the one zero point zero one the addition. So. The naturally, the, the scale factor value will be increased in every time. So, we already know that this code is so in in so infinite loop. So, lambda loop is called uh, infinitely. If there is no error, then it will execute it infinitely. So, the that uh, value, the scale factor value, will be increased continuously okay let's check the result I I save it and then reload it oh yeah it is growing okay so it going up and going up and going growing up I will change the code slightly differently okay if if a scale factor factor is bigger than uh, three then I will reset it into into 1.0 then it will, it, it will it will go into in kind of a loop three three then okay I made it I also want to control this this moving picture so in here in HTML file. I will edit with beam editor. Then I will add one button to canvas. I will add a button. For example, button. The on click and toggle animation. Okay, function and then to remove a space. Togo animation then and button okay and I will save this file and then I will test it reload it oh yeah there is a toggle animation button is appears in here okay to there is now no okay no action because I did not made some yeah, there is uh, some kind of uh, error because I, I did not make a toggle animation function. So, and then I will change the code. Okay. I will 
okay I will add one more thing so, so break line because so it is I hope to add the button just just below the canvas not right side of canvas then write it and then I change the code to to turn on how to make it the, the toggle animation I will make a global variable the flag kind of a flag so animation it is zero we can make a function with the toggle animation then then we can we can uh, turn on and turn off with uh, with uh, the exclusive or bit operation so animation exclusive or and with one then it will be change the value with if zero it is zero then it, it will be changed into one if one then it will be changed into zero so and then in only in case of so the flag of animation flag is on then we can learn on this changing the scale factor then we can get this result okay we load it okay so toggle animation then it moves if I push that toggle animation button then it stop okay we made st start so st play and stop button with HTML well with this code we we change the shape of our triangles with changing of transformation matrix so so it means that the transformation is is we can we can express the transformation with matrix okay so we will dive into the, the mathematics of matrix operation okay it is general definition of uh, transformation. A transformation maps point to other point and or vector to other vectors. If there is uh, some kind of function t u, if you put it, the put a u as an input of the function t, then output v is uh, is generated then it is one-to-one -one mapping to between points or vectors okay it is general definition of transformation okay. there is various kind of uh, transformation let's see the, the the difference okay first thing is is so, so we can categorize with linear transformation and nonlinear transformation okay this part is linear okay this part is nonlinear the original shape was rectangle and then it changed into this shape for example you can see that you can see that the straight line straight line maybe some straight lines changed into curves so in that case we call it non-linear transformation so if if the original shape was was a straight line straight line and then it changed after the transformation it remains straight line for example then it is linear transformation okay Nonlinear is a straight line changed in, into curve. Okay, linear transformation is preserving the linearity after transformation. Okay. Second category is I'll change the color. 
second ca category is if so uh, so unmet segment unmet segment line segment is after transformation meet and crossing then we can call it the complex transformation if not it is simple transformation okay complex and simple if I put this then result was this one or this one then it will be complex transformation okay and then next group is if two parallel line if two parallel line is transform, transformed with two parallel line for example this one this one this one this one in this case in this in this case we can call it a fine transformation okay a fine transformation okay parallel two parallel lines maintain the parallel after transformation okay in that case we can call it a fine transformation or sometimes affine transformation we pronunciate okay if two parallel line changed into not parallel line then we can call it the perspective transformation or projective transformation projective transformation okay why we call it it as a perspective transformation perspective transformation is kind of a the, our viewing system is the perspective view so for example if the same size square is in here but if the another square is far from our eyes then it looks smaller so naturally if we if we put that line between two vertexes pairing vertexes then originally it was a parallel line but it changed into non-parallel line so it is perspective transformation and also you can call it projective transformation so our perspective view is made by projective transformation So linear transformation is very important in computer graphics. It is because the line is preserving. It means that uh, it means that we can implement the solid the solid body transformation, for example, rotation transformation, scaling shear. That is the linear transformation. Okay, and think about it. We made triangle with three vertex one two three vertex and then transformation is done by the vertex shader then vertex shader transform this triangle and think about that if if uh, i'm sorry but it, it is straight line of course it is because it uh, its shape is triangle if we should draw like this then then it is not possible to okay vertex shader only processing for vertex vertex shader change the position of vertex and vertex and third vertex if it is not straight then for example like this we need to calculate this part and this part and this part and this part so we need to process in between two vertex okay for example one two two we need to calculate the every point between two vertexes but if the, the transformation is linear then we can control that 
three vertex. For example, I want this three vertex in going to here and here and here. Then we can we can connect a three point with straight line. Okay, that in that case this triangle changes into this different shape of triangle by just only calculate the vertex value with vertex. So we don't have to calculate it in here, in here, in here. So, so other part is calculated by just the linear interpolation. So, so only in case of linear transformation can be controlled by the vertex movement. So, so we use only linear transformation in, in WebGL 1.0 vertex shade. Okay, so of course we will learn curve and surface, but the basically the vertex shader in WebGL so they only deal with the, the linear transformation. Okay, if the system only support the linear transformation, then Linear transformation can be expressed with linear algebra equation. It means like this matrix multiply vector. It is because the, I recommend you before the learning the computer graphics, you should learn linear algebra. It is because we are dealing with linear transformation. Okay. So most of transformation is expressed with matrix multiply factor in WebGL. This is an example of nonlinear transformation. For example, if we take a photo with a wide angle lens, then we can get this kind of uh, this kind of photo. You can see that so the mass of the ship or boat, it should be straight line. But in this portal, it looks like uh, some kind of a curve. So, so trans if the picture is transformed from here to here, then it is nonlinear transformation. Of course, in case of transform from this image to this image, it it also nonlinear. It is also nonlinear transformation. So. Uh, in general, we call that in in, open, in parallel object. If if we make uh, some kind of a barrel shaped distortion, then it, we call it barrel distortion. Uh, sometimes we make uh, some kind of pin cushion shape, then we call it as a pin cushion distortion. If this picture is transformed with a pin cushion distortion, then you can get uh, this the linear image. If we Distort with the barrel distortion, then you can get uh, this image. Okay, so sometimes we need to implement this kind of a barrel distortion or pin cushion distortion in in WebGL. In that case, we use some very special uh, programming in in Fragment Shader, or it is possible to put this uh, distortion function in the vertex shader the under condition of if the the density of vertex is enough to to control it then we can get this kind of a distortion effect but the, the number of vertex is not enough the, the result is not good but the problem is if we if we the, use the barrel distortion in fragment shader, then the performance of a fragment shader will be very uh, dramatically dropped to 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 low. So, so it is possible only the the GPU performance is enough. Okay, let's go into OpenGL 2.0 and WebGL 1.0 pipeline. Where is the transformation is occurred? Okay, here mainly here. Of course, it is possible to to implement a kind of a, the, the transformation in here, but I said that 
in pregnant shade it is not possible to change the position of a pregnant so so how can you implement the, the kind of transformation in pregnant shader so it is very complex system for example we sh we rendered it some some t into the texture memory we use it as an input of t input of pregnant shader then we can map into different shape that is very complex that is very complex so it is out of scope of, of my lecture because the, my course is the WebGL the tutorial. It is only teaching the overview of WebGL, so I will not teach it. You can find it in internet. You can Google it. Okay. So mainly then the the mainly transformation occurred in vertical shade. So so what is what happened in vertex shade? We give the two point, for example, we give two point, and then tra after transformation, it got a two to transform the position we can get, and then, and and then rasterizer will the rasterizer and maybe the primitive assembly process they assembled it, and then they rendered it with last Elijah. So, vertex, the multiple box, vertexes change its position. That is transformation. Okay? So, okay. First thing, the, the first transformation, okay, the first transformation we will learn is translation. Okay? Translation. Translation is just moving the vertex with a different point. Okay? So we can say that, we can say it is vertex, vertex 1 and we can move to vertex 2. Then we can consider it as a vector. Vector 1 is moved to vector 2. Okay? For example, vector is moved to vector prime then we can in three dimensional the coordinate system in we can say that so oh yeah new x coordinate is the x plus the x new y coordinate is y coordinate plus dy and z coordinate is plus dz okay oh yeah we, we can move dx dy dz quantity to okay it is t vector okay so it means that the component by component addition is is enough to, to implement the translation okay so it is very simple but we change it into this one okay so we change it the translation equation with this matrix with with multiplication with vector so so it is okay we we need to add like this okay i'll change the, the pen color okay in simple x y z and we will add one more coordinate, one. Okay. Then, if we multiply with, multiply with uh, this, then, the, with this, this matrix and vector, then one multiply x, zero, 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 t, t, x. Okay. Then, the result is x plus tx. Okay, if you multiply the two, two, second row with vector, then y plus ty, and then okay, this part is multiply, then z plus dz, and then this part. 
and then this part then one wow it is exactly same as previous equation this one but but why we use this one okay it's lo it's look it looks like some kind of idiot because to the this equation was just just we can get the result by just the three addition but we did the one two three four four multiplication and three addition to compute one so to have multiplication and maybe to have addition is needed to this computation matrix multiplication so it looks very stupid but but we can change this equation with which we can change this equation with matrix and vector multiplication it is very important it is very important because it is much better than previous one because we can make it the conjugated matrix or together then we can calculate we can reduce the huge quantity of computation by using this translation matrix okay i will explain later again okay so we need to know that the terminology the homogeneous coordinate if even though we are we are processing in xyz coordinate in three-dimensional world but the coordinate system has one more coordinate sometimes we call it a w component this kind the, the representation of of the vector or matrix is is we we call it it, it is homogeneous coordinate okay homogeneous coordinate why we use homogeneous coordinate to express translation matrix with with matrix multiplication met matrix multiplication with vector okay so to utilize this matrix multiplication we use homogeneous coordinate homogeneous coordinate it has one more component okay x y z and w okay okay next uh, transformation is scaling scaling is expand or shrink contract along each ac each axis for example jet if if i want to to expand with the x-axis then i will set it into in in this value is two then the x coordinate is changed into two times bigger value then automatically the change the position of vertex for example if it point in here then then if i so multiply if x value in here so if i multiply 2 then 2x may be in, in here okay so so the the put the vertex position is changed with uh, with the with the scaling value with respect to origin so okay so it with respect to origin 0 comma 0 it changed the, uh, with, with the scaling value and in multiplied to vertex value okay so it is simple x y z sorry the y z x y z scaling the equation but you can express it with this matrix okay scaling x diagonally the scaling x scaling y scaling z in here so please compute it with equation 
with multiply with vector x y z and one then we can get s x multiply x s y multiply y s z multiply z and then the, the w component will be one okay it's the same equation i'll i will explain later why we use these things so next we will learn rotation uh, in case of 2D, we can set as rotation with these things. For example, we can calculate the rotation of vector with, for example, the original original vector was in 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 five degree in with respect to x axis. Then the the, the new transformed position the degree is set then it is it is the, the result point is it is the same as x we can express this thing then then the rotation equation will be like this so okay so it is yeah it looks like very yeah matrix format so yeah in two dimensional cosine theta and minus sine theta and sine theta and cosine theta and then multiply with x y then we can get rotated new vertex x prime y prime but it's a lo rotation pivot point should be origin the zero comma zero okay so if you are familiar with the geometry or the linear algebra, then we can, you can, you you already know this equation, okay? How about in in three D space, okay? Rotation in in three D space, so we can we need to set the the coordinate system, okay? In WebGL in OpenGL, yes we use right hand right hand the coordinate system so the x y z so you can see that x y z so if it is rotated with z axis z axis then the twisting with anticlockwise is plus direction so so rotation with about the jet axis is same as 2d rotation so equation will be like this so new x coordinate will be x multiply cosine theta minus y side center the new y coordinate will be new y coordinate will be x sine theta plus y multiply cosine theta so jet the jet jet coordinate is not changed okay so so let's say it jet jet in here okay jet jet plane xy plane in here jet axis in here okay so it, it, it is exactly same as the 2d rotation in in homogeneous coordinate we express the we make the rotation matrix like this so cosine center cosine center so minus sine center in here sine center in here so diagonally the one one value is stored in here so that is rotation about jet axis with center degree okay i said that it is right hand okay i'll change the pen then it is light handed coordinate okay light handed coordinate system okay okay rotate about x axis and y axis it is very similar to rotation about the z axis but it, it is change the position so in case of rotation x is rotation about x axis is cosine it is almost the same but it's a the, the position of uh, cosine and sine, uh, the multiplication is different. Okay, and rotation with y axis is it is like this. Okay, but be careful. The the sine minus sine location of minus sine is opposite with the rotation of x or rotation of z. Okay, so 
so it is because the, we can so rotate with y axis then x y z then okay mm. how can you explain it okay think about it okay. if you have a screen your screen coordinate then then it, it, it let's assume that it is screen then the zero comma zero in here jet value zero is on the screen then jet value will be will go there and then x axis y axis and z axis okay so z axis is going to from from going from screen to to your direction for example in my case i'm watching screen so jet jet value is going so screen is in here and then jet axis is directing to my eye okay so so in your direction again okay, i'm sorry the x rotate look like this and y rotate in here like this jet rotate is in here okay so i'll show you if, if shape is like that so x rotate is x rotate is in here, like this y rotate is like this jet rotate is like this okay so matrix is so x rotate about x axis is some matrix so you can see you can use this matrix for rotation okay reflection okay if you set this in changing you can change the the value with e to be compared with the scaling then in scale there are uh, okay three element uh, scale x and scale y and scale z and other values are zero and then diagonally one it is a scale matrix but in case of uh, scale x scale y scale z is negative then we can get some some different pictures so for example if scale x is minus one then the reflected image we can get it with it with with respect to y axis y axis so, and if the, we set the scale x is minus one and scale y is, y is minus one, then we can we can vertically and horizontally flip the image. We can get okay. So if we want okay. Next transformation is shearing. Shearing is changing shape like this. Oh, it it looks like. It looks like very similar to rotation, but it changed the, the it is kind of a slanting. Okay, for example, I will show you in I will draw it in two D world. If it is, it was the original shape was a square, and if it shared with x axis, then the 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 height height is not changed, and then it changed the shape like this. It is shear. Okay, shear. Okay, so in y axis, it it, it, it will be changed into sh it, it will change the shape like this. So, but it, it does not change the width. Okay, same with this, but it changed this. It it will be changed into slanted shape. Okay. So how to make it? For example, in shearing along x axis, then the cotangent set is used for shearing. So if the shearing angle is set, then the, we can get it with cotangent center, yeah, with this equation. So 
So this uh, this value is a shearing x value, and sometimes we call this component is shearing y value element. Okay, so we can get this the transformation. So we learned translation, rotation, scaling, reflection, shearing. That is that is a fine transform, of course, and also, it is linear transform. Of course, all the all the uh, straight line preserving it, its linearity, and and it is linear transform and it is a fine transform. So a fine transform means that the the parallel two line does not uh, does not change its its, its the parallelity. Okay, so parallel after transformation, the parallel line is still parallel. Okay, so it is a, a fine transformation. The, the most famous of fine transform is translation, rotation, scaling, shearing, and reflection. Okay. okay. Then let's learn. What the what's the meaning of inverse inverse transformation? Okay. In case of a fine transformation, then we can think that okay, translation. Okay, translate like this. Like this. What is inverse transformation? Yes, going back to here. Transformation, inverse transformation. Okay, so if transformation of dx, dy, dz translate, then inverse transformation is naturally minus dx, minus dy, minus dz. Translation is inverse of dx, dy, dz translation. Oh, yeah, of course. Yes. In case of rotation, if the, the origin in here is in here, if if rotate rotate like this, then inverse rotate is rotating this direction. Okay? So so inverse rotation is minus minus if rotate to minus q is is inverse of rotate q. Okay? It's very simple. Um, I'm sorry, that, that, that's something wrong in, in rotation, okay? In case of scaling, if we multiply 2, then what is inverse? Yeah, divide into Sx. The multiply with Sx, then if divide with Sx, then it will be inverse scaling, okay? It means that we express the transformation with 4 by 4 matrix. For example, in case of translation matrix, 1, 1, 1, 1, all 0, okay? Then, TX, TY was in here, TX, TY, and 0, 0, 0, 1, TZ. So, if I ask to, what is, what is inverse matrix of uh, this one? Then answer is, yeah? Same value and then minus tx, minus ty, minus tz, and one. It is inverse matrix of this. Okay. If I add some kind of a rotation matrix, so cosine setter, cosine setter, and minus sine setter, minus sine setter, okay, and 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. What is this? Yes, it is rotation matrix. So if I said, if I want to calculate inverse matrix of this rotation matrix, just add minus in setter. That is inverse matrix of rotation matrix. Okay. It means inverse is just inverse value 
translate rotation and scaling and then the matrix inverse matrix is the matrix of this transformation so we can easily if we have knowledge about the matrix what is what is this matrix means which transformation if we know that then we can calculate easily inverse matrix okay and okay let's learn why we use homogeneous coordinate to 3d graphics okay okay in case of a matrix multiplication matrix multiplication is not commut commutable so it is not, for example a matrix multiply b matrix is not same as b matrix matrix multiplied to a matrix but in case of a b c matrix multiplication it is same as a multiplied to if we calculate b b c multiply multiplication first and then do a multiplication is same as a b and then c it is same is associated so the we we in case of we have three the transformation then we need to multiply with vector with three matrix then we can calculate it with with multiply c with v and then b and then result is calculated with b and then it is the matrix multiplication with a then we can get the result of course it is possible and also it is possible to A and B matrix multiplication and then A and C matrix multiplication and then we can calculate with multiply with vertex. Then we can get the same result. There is no difference. The result is exactly the same. But which one is better? Yes, this one is better why think about it if if we need to have let's assume that a b c transformation and with the vertex then if there are 100 v0 to v99 there if there are 100 vertexes then if we calculate it with in advance to to multiply with vector calculate it with m then we can multiply with one single matrix then we can get get 100 the new vertexes with with just only one matrix multiplication with a vector but Think about it. In this case, we calculate it, calculate it, calculate it, calculate it, calculate it, calculate it. It looks idiot. It it is a very stupid thing. So we, it is much more, more efficient way. Calculate in in we we should use the same matrix about about many vertexes. Then we need to calculate the the one matrix and then calculate it the multiply with the vertex is much more efficient way of course think about it in that case in for example in some 3d games like a battleground or something like that so number of vertex is much more than the one million okay in that case, the separate the transformation multiplication is very stupid thing. It is not possible to achieve the high performance. 
so we should do that. To do that, so all translate, uh, all matrix should be form of matrix multiplication. So we should change translate into four by four matrix multiplication. So therefore, we need to use homogeneous coordinate because it is much more efficient way. Okay? And I will also explore, I will also explain that in, in, in case of A, B, C transformation, what does it mean inverse transformation of A, B, C? Then it is Inverse of like this, so A inverse and B inverse and C inverse. So it is same as A matrix, B matrix, C matrix, and then inverse of A matrix, B matrix, C matrix. It, it is same. It means that the if M, the M inverse matrix is the same. It is the intuitively you can understand that. For example, if you ro translate, rotate, and translate, then what is the inverse matrix? Yes, translate, rotate, translate. So it is so natural. Okay, it is so natural. So if we, you, if you can, can calculate the matrix, the inverse matrix meaning means the inverse transformation. So if there are the multiple transformation, then the multiple reverse order transformation of inverse trans inverse matrix that is same as total inverse of the inverse of matrix. Okay. I will uh, inform you some something something you should be careful about that. So the first thing is, in case of a rotation, in in rotation, rotation in three dimension is not commuted, commuted, commutable. It means that the x rotate and then y rotate is different, y rotate and x rotate. Two result is not same. So you should be careful. So normally we sh we should load in general rotation with uh, with uh, about the origin. Then we wrote we write the rotation x first and rotation y and rotation z. So it is first first transformation is rotation rotate x second thing is rotation y third thing is the rotation z so you should be careful in multiple rotation with multiple axes okay and actually we learned in 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 other class but if you will want to rotate with some pivot angle, for example, in two-dimensional world, the, the, I want to rotate this square with this pivot point. Then, first, first step is translating in here, and then the, the square will be rotated in here, and then rotate, rotate, and then move back to here. So, so in three-dimensional, if I want to rotate with this pivot point, then move into origin with minus pivot vector, then rotate, rotate, and then translate back to here, okay, here. So, translation matrix, rotation matrix, please be careful about the order. So, vector is multi so multiplied in here, okay? So, with this matrix order, then we can get rotating with with the pivot point. We can get one matrix can generate this effect. Okay. 
I think it is not easy. I know that. You can understand it later. Don't worry about that. Okay. In next lecture, we will learn the coding uh, transformation. Okay. Goodbye, everyone.